All right, hello. For this video, uh, where we have a distributed force, uh, it goes from 14 kilonewtons per meter, about three meters out in this beam, uh, down to nothing uh, in linear fashion uh, from there. And we're asked to determine the magnitude uh, and the point of application of the equivalent point load of this distributed force shown below. Uh, so rather than, we're, for this, we're gonna use the integration method uh, to find the equivalent point load, the FEQ, uh, and the point of application of that, the XEQ. So, uh, first thing we need to do is we need to determine what the force function is. So we need to come up with an equation that describes this line right here. Uh, so since it's a, a simple line, it's going to be something times x plus the y-intercept. Uh, so the slope of this, uh, if we go from 14 down to 0 over the course of 7 meters, uh, the slope is going to be negative 2, so f of x equals negative 2x, uh, and if we were to go and find the y-intercept, we go 3 meters further back this way, the y-intercept would be at 20 kilonewtons per meter, so plus 20. So that's the uh, equation describing uh, the, this line right here. So <clears throat> next thing we need to do to find FEQ, uh, we're simply going to integrate this equation right here. And we're going to integrate that from the minimum x value to the maximum x value. So in this case, uh, from 3 meters out all the way to the total of this is 10 meters out. So we integrate from 3 to 10 uh, our force function. So negative 2x plus 20 and we're integrating this whole thing with respect to x, so dx. So pretty simple integral. Uh, if we integrate this, we get FEQ is going to be equal, so evaluated from 3 to 10. Uh, so negative 2x, uh, the integral of that is going to be x squared uh, plus 20 times x. All right, so now we just need to evaluate that out. This is a definite integral. Um, so we're going to take, uh, plug in 10 at all the values of x, uh, and then we're going to subtract off the initial value, so plug in 3 at all the, at all the values of x. So FEQ is going to be equal to um, negative negative 10 squared plus 20 times 10. So we just plug in 10 for all the values of x and then we subtract off uh, the value when we plug in the value of 3. So negative 3 squared plus 20 times 3. Alright, at this point we've got all the numbers in here. Uh, so we just, uh, if we add all these things together, um, <clears throat> we're going to find that this is uh, 100 right here, uh, and this is going to be 51 over here. Uh, so 100 minus 51, FEQ is going to be equal to 49, and the units, since we've got kilonewtons per meter, uh, the units over here are going to be kilonewtons. So that is the magnitude of our equivalent point load. All right, so let's uh, move on. So. <clears throat> If we go and uh, we're going to look at XEQ, um, so th for this we're going to take the moment integral. So XEQ is going to be the position of the equivalent point load. Uh, it's going to be equal to the integral uh, from, again, X min to X max, so 3 to 10 of our force function, negative 2X plus 20. And that whole thing gets multiplied by the value x. 
and we're taking the integral with respect to x. And so we take divide that whole integral by FEQ, or the magnitude that we just found for our equivalent point load. All right, so let's look at this integral up here first. We're taking, the again, the integral uh, from 3 to 10 of now it's negative 2x squared plus 20x. And so we evaluate that integral. Um, and if we take the integral, we're evaluating this from 3 to 10. Uh, it's going to be negative 2 thirds x cubed plus um, 10 x squared. All right, so going, uh, evaluating this from 3 to 10. So we're going to plug in 10 for all these values. It's going to be negative 2 thirds times 10 cubed plus 10 times 10 squared. And that whole value, we subtract off uh, the evaluation at 3. So negative 2 thirds times 3 cubed plus 10 times 3 squared. All right, so when we take these numbers, um, these numbers end up getting giving us 333.3 uh, .3, uh, and the second one evaluates out to uh, 72. So this XEQ, uh, our number on the top here, this integral up top, uh, is going to be uh, 261.33. And so to find XEQ, that's going to be equal to this number right here, that's that integral from the top, over FEQ, which is 49. And that will give us the distance, and our distance is going to be 5.33. And our units of distance uh, from the original scenario, we can see that it's kilonewtons per meter, and these are all meters. Uh, so our distance is going to be in meters. All right, so now we've got XEQ, we've got FEQ. Um, we can kind of go back and let's draw this in uh, on a diagram. So I'll create a little more space. So the solution, we've got our cantilever beam, um, our equivalent point load, again FEQ was uh, 49, this value right here, 49 kilonewtons. So we've got a force of 49 kilonewtons. Direction just matches up with the direction of our original force. Uh, and the distance from the edge, um, again, x equals 0 is over at the edge here, and x goes out that way. So our distance is going to be uh, 5.33 meters. And so this force right here, the force 49 kilonewtons, 5.33 meters from the edge, is statically equivalent to our original distributed force shown here. And so with that, we've got our solution. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.